Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and I want to make a short video on how to host your own podcast on your own WordPress website. So instead of paying to host your WordPress website, which I understand is only, you know, whatever, five bucks, ten bucks, wherever you're hosting it a month, and then paying another place, five bucks, ten bucks, fifteen bucks, I don't know where you are, uh, a month to host your podcast. Here's a way to host your podcast on your own website so you can cut your expenses in half or depending on where you are. I would not suggest you do this with a really popular podcast because you're going to run out of bandwidth on your WordPress site and tax your servers and your hosting company is not going to like it. If you have a very popular web or a podcast, then I think it makes sense to pay the extra dollars and host it with a dedicated podcast hosting. But if you have a hobby podcast like I have, where you only have a couple episodes and you only do an episode every couple months and you just like to goof around with your friends and it doesn't make sense to pay for hosting every month, professional hosting, then, then I think it makes sense to host your own po podcast on your WordPress website. And to do that, what I found works is seriously simple podcasting. This is a plugin. It's free. I'm going to assume that you know how to get a plugin on your website and um, I'll, let's see, go into, back into my website. So let's assume that you've already uploaded this to your website. This is what it'll look like on the back end. So it'll add a new menu item here on the left, podcast with episodes, add new tag series. This is if series, if you have several different series of podcasts. Um, again, I think most people are going to host on their own website if they're simple, if they're sort of beginner or not taking very seriously, hobbyists, probably not going to have a lot of series, but it's there. And then settings, which is where I am right now. Um, and this is really where most of the work's going to be done. And there's not a lot of work. So it comes in looking like this. It's pretty much empty. Um, media player locations. If you want the player to show up automatically, you need to fill this out. I don't want it to show up, so I did not fill that out. If you don't fill that out, it doesn't matter if you have above or below content because it's not going to show up until you actually embed the player, which I'm not going to do. Um, and then this other stuff is also about the player. But again, I'm not worried about the player. I, I changed the color, but I was just goofing around. So um, I don't use their player. And I'll show you that in just a second. But this is what, what's really important is even if you're a hobbyist, anyone on your website, I still think you ought to move it over to iTunes and let people find your podcast in iTunes, even if you're not a serious podcaster. So go ahead and fill this information out and this will allow you to get your feed in good enough shape that iTunes will accept it. So you just got to work your way through it. Title, subtitle, author, categories that people can find it, a little description, a cover image. Um, right here it says 1400 by 1400 is the minimum. Uh, iTunes is moving towards larger files, so I think pretty soon you're going to need like a 3,000 by 3,000. I don't think you're there yet, though, uh, and I'm recording this in late 2018, so take it with a grain of salt. And just fill out this information the best you can, and then I didn't worry about any of this stuff here at the bottom. You hit Save Settings, and you come back up to the top, and this is the default feed is going to be your podcast, whatever you named it. See your title here, or my title, Greg Fly Podcast, very original right there and then you click view feed and it will bring up something that looks like this so you look up in the URL bar it's gonna be your website slash feed slash podcast and then you want to copy that and come over to iTunes and if you have to you search iTunes connect or iTunes podcast connect um, and here's the URL podcastsconnect.apple.com you have to log in. You need to have your own account, um, but it's, it doesn't cost anything. You need to have your account on iTunes. And then you go into your account and you add podcast. And this is where you add the URL. So it's already added. So I'm skipping a step here. But if you were going from scratch, there'd be a button over here on the right somewhere that would say validate. And you click on that. And iTunes is going to make sure that you have all the information that you need to... Um, to run your own podcast and then you hit submit and it's going to take a day or two maybe a couple days for iTunes to come back and say it looks great so validates really the big button that you need to pay attention to and I'll tell you what fields you're having troubles with if um, if you're having trouble what I didn't realize when I first did this is 
it can validate and you can still have your podcast not show up properly on your website. So here is sort of a, a public facing podcast of mine and I wanted to show you something and I figured out what I was doing wrong when I validated my, my site. So uh, just real quick, this is the player that comes with WordPress. It is super simple. And then this is the player right here, this big one, that comes with simply serious podcasting. And if we go back into edit the episode, I prefer the simple one, again, because I don't have a ton of listeners. These are just sort of my, I do this for me just to play with. So that player right there is fine. And with this one, I actually, you'd have to go in and fuss with it to get the, the player part doesn't actually show up. There is no button to play. That just, it's a bunch of links. But if you want to mess with it, down here on the right, episode embed code, this is where you're going to fix it to get the embed code for your podcast that you want. But it's not really a player in the same sense. So let me take this back out. And then you can also see how much crazier it is in the backside. So I went to the text editor. This audio here is um, what comes with WordPress. And then this other stuff is the other player. So now I'm back to um, just, just the player there. Let me clean this up a little bit. All right, so I'll update that. And then the really important thing is you can get your feed together properly and iTunes will take it, but, sorry, I, this is a transcript for the podcast. It's vitally important that down here at the bottom, so I don't, I don't know what yours looks like, but okay, so here's my post, it's ending. I have my little SEO plugin, and then you have podcast episode details you have to come in here and get your file in, in, in here. So hopefully you know how to get a, a file up into WordPress. This is where you would, once you get your file into your media um, folder, you need to make sure it's here. And that's what allows it, that episode to show up on your RSS feed. So that's super important step right there. And then you can date it, whatever you want to date it right there. So that, real quickly, that is how you get uh, your own podcast hosted on your own WordPress website. If you have any questions, hit me up, find me somewhere, and ask away. Happy to help. Thanks. Bye-bye.